On this day, Empress Hu Zetian summoned Yan Liben, the court painter, to build a new palace based on the design of the former dynasty. To fund this project, Empress Wu not only collected taxes around the country, but also deducted one month of wages of all the civil and military officials. One year later, the world-renowned Diamond Palace became the political center of Tang Dynasty. Empress Wu and her husband Li Zhi lived in the palace of Supreme Being at the time. Were they just moved in? It was a grand and a magnificent palace. So why did Empress Wu spend much manpower and money to build a new palace in a hurry? Empress Wu killed her two rivals in love: Empress Wang, Consort Xiao, and her own daughter. All of which happened in the palace of Supreme Being. Where Emperor Wu's bloody memories were imprinted everywhere in the palace. So did Empress Wu build a Diamond Palace to escape torture from her nightmares? No, she was not such a coward. How could such a ruthless woman like Empress Wu move so aimlessly due to such trifles? According to historical records, Li Zhi, Emperor Gaozong of Tang. Had very poor health, and the living condition at the palace of Supreme Being was really terrible. For her husband's health, Empress Wu was determined to change the living environment. At first glance, this good wife seemed to think about her husband, but the truth is not that simple. Empress Wu realized a long time ago that many people in the government wanted her death. So as long as the emperor lived, Li Zhi would protect her under his wings. When Li Zhi died 20 years later, the 67-year-old Wu Zetian inherited the throne of the Tang Empire, living in the Diamond Palace built by herself. For the woman in need of her husband's protection, Empress Wu became the leader of one of the most powerful countries in the world. And at this time. She didn't need to be afraid of anyone.